So after you get the E major pentatonic scale down, you might want to uh, check out some, oh, uh, bends, uh, some little flat shapes, maybe some hammer-ons. Oh, let's start up high around here. First string, 12th fret. E, F sharp, E. Now let's uh, bend that F sharp which is going to sound like a G-sharp. Pretty simple, all right. Um, let's go to second string, 12th fret B, and bend it up to C-sharp. Yeah, you can connect those a uh, couple of bends. Here's another E. So what are you going to do? You're going to play that E, F sharp, and bend it. Then it becomes like the G sharp, the major third. Fourth string, you got your uh, 11 9, the C sharp to B. And again. Bending the F sharp. So it seems to me the most common bends would be bending the F sharp and the B uh, in this particular scale. We'll see if there's others. Then you got your C sharp B. You could bend that B up to C sharp. Pretty cool. And back down to the low root. You could bend the uh, F sharp here up to a G sharp. And then you got your slide. While you're at it, you don't have to go. You can go. That's zero two, four, and the fourth, or uh, fifth string would be two, four. How about bending that B up to C sharp? If you needed to go to another chord, C sharp minor might be kind of fun. You could always do, uh, let's do that again, E, down to C sharp minor, just to get your ears warmed up. Check that out. I'm kind of all over the map here. Zero, two, four on the sixth string, two, four on the fifth string, and the fourth string, two, four, six. So that's got the slide. See how it goes? What note is that? Part of the chord. G sharp, right, good job. Third string, you can go four, six. That's a 
that's a 4-6 on the third string. B, C sharp. E on your second string, fifth fret. E, F sharp. Bend the F sharp. Or slide. E, F sharp, G sharp. First string, seven, nine. Ninth fret, or twelfth uh, fret, first string. So we got uh, this little pattern, little run is uh, again review. Five, seven, nine, first string, seven, nine, twelve. I get a lot of stretch out of my index and middle. I love that scale, it's so cool. Now, one, one little extra business here. You can get these little flat shapes, check it out. That's part of the scale, those are really cool. That's using your pointer finger, lay it flat on the two skinny strings. I got double 14s, double 12s, double 9s, double 7s, double, the double nines kind of sounds like C sharp minor. Awesome. You can always go to F sharp minor to an A. Maybe a G sharp minor and a B or B7. C sharp minor. So you can just kind of fiddle around with those chords. You're gonna you're gonna come across a, a lot of pop songs or uh, you know simple guitar songs based on those chords. And uh, you can uh, throw the scale on top of it, and you'll sound pretty good. So work on your chords, your scales, your licks, your bends, your slides, your positioning, your fingering, and make it sound cool. You can do it. Go for it.